For years, chip makers have been trying to squeeze as much as possible into slivers of silicon, and that is, to put it mildly, extremely difficult. That's why Intel is going to try something new. Instead of building out from the edges, the company wants to build chips up. Earlier today, the company described its new Foveros initiative, which involves stacking the most important bits of a modern compute package on top of each other. And the best part is you won't even need to wait that long to try these things out. Intel says the first Foveros products will land in the second half of 2019. The idea of stacking chipset components on top of each other isn't exactly new. I mean, you've been able to find stacked high bandwidth memory in certain GPUs for like three years now. Intel's concept takes things a little further. With Foveros, we'll eventually see dedicated chiplets for CPUs and graphics processors and neural engines and all that other high-performance logic stuff sitting on top of a base that's meant to handle input and output and power delivery. And because of how Intel plans to stack all of these bits on top of each other, there's no hit to throughput, meaning all of those stacked components should run just as fast together as a more traditional chip. Of course, there's more to this design than just novelty. Intel was famously late to the 10 nanometer chip making party, but Foveros gives Intel some much needed breathing room. Now, the company could feasibly make high performance CPU chiplets using that 10 nanometer process and mix and match them with less complex chiplets for, I don't know, modems and stuff. Ultimately, this will lead to more powerful and more power efficient processors for the computers you're going to buy in a few years. And since you're here watching Engadget today, I know you're all about that. On the surface, Foveros also seems like it might have some real benefits for smartphones and tablets too, and for all we know, 3D chips might be the way forward for all devices. Could Intel's progress here help it once again rule the chip making world? Possibly, as long as Intel is all right with the possibility of getting spanked by Qualcomm in the smartphone space again. We'll see you tomorrow with more Engadget today.